YouTube, this is Kat and these are the supplies that I'll be using in setting up my first ever A6 ring binder journal. Most of these items are mentioned from my previous stationery hauls so make sure to check those out. For the first part, I am going to design the cover page. I have decided on a picnic slash breakfast theme vibe for the preliminary pages of this journal because it somehow reminds me of a fresh start. I've been in a slump for months and it is only recently that I am regaining my motivation again. And of course, what better way to fuel my newfound inspiration but to start journaling again. I am just glad that I am back to doing the things that I love most after being done in the dumps for too long. To be honest, it usually causes me anxiety to write down on the first page of a new journal or generally whenever I am starting something new because I am afraid to somehow mess it up. But I am glad that I had chosen to use a ring binder this time which is more of an error-friendly alternative than other journal formats. So if you are prone to mistakes like I am, I highly recommend using a ring binder. Second, we have my dreams page. It has been a constant for me to write down 10 dreams every year instead of doing a resolutions or goals list. I believe that there's a huge difference between the two and that the language that we use in defining what we do really matters. So when we say goals, it can be described as something that is the acronym SMART, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time sensitive. On the other hand, when we say dreams, it is something more unimaginable. The best description regarding dreams that I've ever heard of is that our dreams should scare us, meaning it makes our hearts throb and fuels our soul yet we do not know if it is actually doable. Although we grew up in a society that makes us believe that having goals is greater than having dreams, for me, dreams are something more grand. Because having dreams is learning how to have faith in yourself and learning how to trust the process. Yes, your dreams could be something that you do not know if it is possible to happen, but believe me, most of us underestimate the power that comes from believing. So if you are watching this right now, I am challenging you to jot down your own dreams and in a year's span, I'll bet that you'll be more than surprised on how much you are actually capable of.
Third, we have my bookish goals page. It is only this year that I have decided to list down goals for my reading. I am certain that this will help me track down my reading progress, especially that I have created this channel not only to share my love for journaling, but as well as my passion for books. So with that, I am hoping to read a hundred books, read the Bible in a year, have a book buying ban until I have zeroed in my physical TBR, learn DNFing books that I do not actually enjoy, and make reading a daily habit. Now that we are done with the preliminary pages, I'll be now filling in the binder. I am so happy on how it turned out and really funny but is it just me who feels more motivated whenever starting a new journal? And for
for the final look, here's how my first A6 ring binder journal turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, and happy journaling!